talkradio.com. And it is time now for our interview segment presented by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the Best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And our interview also being streamed today on Facebook. So you will see on screen if you're watching there or you will soon hear the voice of the district, the superintendent of the Indiana School District, Robert Heinrich. Robert, good to see you. We talked last night, but a quick turnaround, huh? Absolutely. It's yeah, all right. Been a long time, huh? Yeah, long time. <laughs> but, uh, but a lot to get through, I think, because there was a lot going on last night at the meeting. First off, new board members and a new reorganization of the board, but it turned out uh, for the reorganization, Walter Schroth once again elected as the board president. Uh, Julia Tremarki Kukuro as vice president. It seems that that's been the that's been a winning combination as far as the board is concerned, and uh, the other p- members of the board just seem to be ready and eager to get to work. Absolutely. I mean, by law, we re- reorganize every December, um, and yeah, we we welcome three new board members: Mr. Doug Steve, Mrs. Uh, Dr. Sally McCombie, and uh, Mr. Chris Adams. Were sworn in last night, so congratulations to those three and welcome aboard. And yeah, um, they you know the board voted to keep Walter as president and, and uh, Mr. Marky Kukuro as vice president. They've done a great job the last you know five six years. As long as I've been here, mm-hmm. they've been uh, they've been the president and vice president. So uh, you know it's been stable and uh, moving in the right direction. So, but as we mentioned in our news this morning, one of the newly elected members decided not to take their seat. Uh, maybe you can shed some light on that subject. Yeah, Mr. Pat Schneider, who won the uh, general election and uh, won the seat, had a conflict that uh, came up between when he started to run and when he, the uh, election had finalized. So because of that conflict, he resigned last week, uh, which means we have to appoint a new board member. So we are going to be advertising today uh, for applications for any resident of the Indiana Area School District to send us a resume, a cover letter of interest, and uh, we will be hiring on December 18th. I know it's a quick turnaround. We only have about 10 days for people to get their resume and letter of interest in. But with the holiday and the law says we only have 30 days in which to do it, we have to move quickly. And they, and they don't pause for the holidays. No, sir. All right. waits for no one. All right. So <laughs> they would be installed pro- at that meeting on the 18th, as you said? Yes, sir. All right. And then I think it also kind of makes sense because then they can get their the get ready and start running with uh, – uh, budget issues Absolutely. that are going to be coming up. Absolutely, and that's a and that's a good segue into uh, what's going on. Obviously, the state budget still not quite complete yet, and the school funding formula is still developing. What are you hearing out of Harrisburg because of the fact that again the budget's not quite there, but school funding was approved i think as part of the as part of the budget what are you hearing absolutely we uh we got a big chunk of the money about 80 percent, 85 percent of the funds are here mm-hmm. in our districts working um there's still about 20 you know 15 to 25 percent or to 20 percent of the budget that's still coming a lot of that is held up on this debate over school choice and funding for cyber charter schools and um actually this afternoon i have a meeting about bill house bill 1422 which uh, is going is proposing, it was passed by the House, uh, is proposing some changes to the cyber, cyber charter law mm-hmm. um, that will give more oversight and more restrictions and more uh, reporting from those cyber charters, some more accountability for those uh, entities that are operating outside the, the, the same rules of the public school system. And I think there was a very good conversation as well last night that uh, Dr. McCombie initiated about uh, cyber charter schools and – the difference between those schools and the cyber program that's run by a school district like Indiana School District. Yeah. I mean, with the Indiana District, it sounded like you are, you're because of the fact that you are also a brick and mortar school. There's a little bit more accountability there. Absolutely, we have to. Uh, we are held to a higher standard than, mm-hmm. uh, currently than a lot of the cyber charter schools are. We have uh, we have a lot more of uh, reporting and rules that we have to follow, and. Because of that, we offer a much higher product. Right now, we can we through our ideal system, mm-hmm. students in our district can attend online school and never leave the Indiana area school district. So they keep the tax money here in Indiana, and the uh, our teachers are going to provide that program. We can customize it to serve their needs. So if a student is looking for online education, we provide a very good product right here in our school district. That and that's a great option. And I've uh, I had kind of a brief tour of those facilities those ideal facilities, uh, whenever I was up there for a news conference the other day, it looks like they are completely wired up and ready to go and completely updated with the latest technology at all times. So whenever it comes to quality like that, 
I mean, there's to me, there's no option. Absolutely. It's a beautiful space. It's a nice option. Like I said, we can customize it to uh, whatever that individual student needs. We have some people who stay completely online. Mm -hmm. Some people come into that space for part of the day and learn. Others who come and learn in the regular classrooms and then visit the Ideal Lab for one or two classes. So whatever we need to do, whatever that student needs to be, to be successful, we're ready to provide it. All right. So a lot of good things happening throughout the district as well as we get into uh, – uh, into some of the winter sports seasons uh, and also some of the other things, other accomplishments. Let's start off with the high school mathematics competition. Indiana High took second. That's yeah, so we good. Were, yeah, absolutely. So we were at the uh, the Benjamin Freed High School mathematics competition, um, and it was at Penn West University. Uh, there were over you know dozens of schools participating, hundreds of kids participating, and Indiana Area School District's team actually took second place. Um, and one of our students actually took second overall out of 200 plus students involved. Mm -hmm. So we're very proud of the work that they're doing over there. Um, it's just, you know, it pays testament to the, the work that our teachers do every day and the work that our kids do every day. So we're very proud of them. All. They, they should be very proud of the work that they've done with that competition. Now on to the athletics field. Winter sports are beginning to tip off. I mean, we just had the tip off tournaments for the basketball teams. But that's not the only thing. I mean, you've still got swimming going on. You've got uh, probably some other sports as well. Yeah, uh, hockey, it's going to get busy. Hockey's on a heater. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah. Four wins straight. Now they have a big game coming up on Thursday night against undefeated uh, Quaker. I think so. Uh, yeah. Oh, these sports are in full swing. The uh, basketball teams both went one on one in their tournaments. So you know we uh, we're still emerging there. Um, but there's a lot going on. We had a really successful volleyball camp um, this past weekend. Uh huh. Uh, fifty five participants. Fifty five. Young ladies uh, from fourth to eighth grade came out to participate, so the future is bright there. They're doing a great job, and if you and if anyone's out there still want to uh, sign up, we're having another session this Saturday. They can contact Dan Roan, our athletic director, uh, or Rachel Harrell, and uh, the, the coach is running it. It's amazing to see how much volleyball has become a hot sport in our county. I mean, we've had a lot of great successes with the volleyball teams this year, this year alone. It's amazing how that sport has become a, a hot sport here it really is it's growing tremendously it's gaining popularity uh it's, it's you know it's a great sport it's fun to watch it's yeah. very very intense if you've ever been to a volleyball game mm -hmm. uh so it's it's definitely growing in popularity we're we're happy to to support it and one of the things also since we are getting close to the holiday season everybody's thinking about giving back giving to charity sga is starting up their teddy bear fun drive activities i think right yes absolutely so sga is going to do a variety of events to raise some money here in the holiday season uh the proceeds are going to go to indiana area or irmc's pediatric unit and uh, help fund the free care fund at uh, children's hospital in pittsburgh so those kids do a lot of great work i'm really proud of them if you haven't supported them yet please uh, please get out there and do so i remember back in the day whenever i went uh, we had a day, like a half day, we had a classes in the morning, and it was like compressed schedule there. Then the rest of the day, was, you could pay to go to an activity and make it, and it would be a donation to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, Correct. which I thought very, was pretty cool. Very similar thing going very on. Very There's a, a talent show okay. uh, going on. I think that the students will have the half day, and they get to pay and go see the talent show. And, nice. Uh, and laugh at their friends. So it should be a, <laughs> spread some joy and some cheer and raise some money for a good cause. Let's say laugh with their friends. Right, with their friends, <laughs> yes, not at them. And, we do, and, we've also, and we've also heard Ben Franklin School is getting ready to make their Teddy Bear Fund Drive donation. We're scheduling some time with them, uh, so we'll be hearing about them in the, in the, come, in the coming weeks. That's great. It is, it's a community effort. Everyone uh, gets, you know, throws in and gets behind it. It's a, it's a great cause, and you know, who, can, who wouldn't want to support such a noble cause? What are some of the other holiday activities coming down the pike? Uh, so we, uh, it's definitely, it's Christmas season. It's, uh, the holidays are here. So we have, uh, we have a bunch of shows. I got to look up. We have, uh, holiday concerts coming up. Tonight is actually the junior high band winter concert. So if you, you're looking for something to do, uh, at the junior high this evening is the, is their band concert. Mm -hmm. uh, on the seventh, we have the senior highs winter showcase. Uh, the fifth grade band and string orchestra concert is December 14th. And at the junior high, the Christmas carol presentation will be on the 16th and 17th. So there's all kinds of Christmas activities and holiday activities at our schools. And it's, it can't be, it's not a holiday season without a musical program in some, in some form. So these choir programs and the orchestra and band programs are going to be great. And the community is all, always invited to these. Absolutely. It's open to the public. You, uh, you come on in and watch what these incredible students have done. Uh, 
uh, we really do have an outstanding music program and choir program at our schools. Mm-hmm. So you you will be impressed. It's it's definitely a great way to get into the holiday spirit. All right. Anything else you wanted to touch on today, Rob? No, I just want to thank you for what you do, and thank you and Todd for you know everything you guys do here. It's a great service that you guys provide and i really do appreciate the opportunity we appreciate you coming on board and being willing to talk about all the things going on at the indiana school district superintendent robert heinrich thank you very much for joining us and we wish you all the best and please give our best wishes back to everybody there i know we'll be talking to the junior high in a few weeks at least absolutely happy holidays happy holidays to you rob heinrich the superintendent of the indiana school district joining us on indiana in the morning presented by first commonwealth bank Our interview presented by Marcus and Mack, voted Best Personal Injury Law Firm, Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. We have a little bit of time, so let's get to our health cycle. House Call for Health to start. This is House Call for Health. A 70-year-old.